What's up, everybody? It's Carl from Tech for Goodies, and we have another Timu unboxing. Yes, another Timu haul, and I love these, and you know I love these. So I appreciate you being here, and let's jump into this. So this is another partner Timu haul. Uh, that just means they gave me a certain budget, give me carte blanche to go onto the site and pick what I want, things that I think are interesting, things that I think that you'll like, and I did that. <laughs> I went ahead and bought a buttload of stuff, okay? So this is all stuff that is generally tech-related, um, but I also wanted to focus on things that could potentially be good stocking stuffers. Christmas is coming up, and it's time to start ordering some of those things that you might want for friends or family. And um, if you don't know what Timu is, obviously it is a shopping app with great deals. Uh, right now they've got their Black Friday deal going on if you wanna check that out. Also, if you use the promo code down below or the link down below, download the app, then there is some special discounts specifically for you, especially if you're a first time user. Um, so I would suggest doing that, but let's go ahead and jump into this sucker right here. Use my Timu box opener. Create a big hole in this big bad boy right here. And let's see what I ordered. Sauce this over on the side. Alrighty, so the first thing that I picked up was an LED corner stand. So this is basically a light stick, an LED light stick that you can put in your corner. And again, I'll put all the prices of these things up on the screen so you can see exactly how much they cost. And it looks like we got some setup first thing here. Comes with a remote for be, to be able to control it. Um, it comes, I guess, with the LED light strip itself, which means I think I might have to install the LED strip myself, which isn't that big of a deal. They all have self sort of adhesive on the back. All right, and I got the, I think I got the tallest one that they had to make sure that it, if I put it back here in the corner, um, it'll give off some good light. Some of them are really short. And so that's one of the things that I wanna make sure that everyone pays attention to when they're shopping anywhere, including Timu, is when you look at the picture, you have to make sure you look at the options that they provide. So this one comes in like a 12 inch size, a uh, 24 inch size and a 36 or something like that. And if you just blindly put it in your cart, it's most likely gonna be the lowest, the smallest one. And I've had that happen a couple of times where things that I thought that I bought came and they were kind of smaller than I expected. All right, so let's go ahead and put this together. Looks pretty simple. So basically you go ahead and slide your feet on here. So this will be the outside of the corner. And then it comes with these very, very, very tiny little screws right here. And it comes with a Allen wrench to be able to screw those in. So. What that's gonna do is it's gonna attach the uh, the feet tightly to the bottom here. All right, got all four of those little screws in. And this is pretty nice because it's actually heavy duty sort of metal as opposed to like a plastic frame. So we just wanna start building up. So what you're gonna do is put this bolt in the bottom here. The bottom one just simply screws on and you wanna make sure that the channel is on the outside. Then you're gonna use these couplers here to basically combine the different pieces. So if you can see this, I'm inserting this little coupler in here, and then the extension part will go right on top of it. So what you're doing is just building up the layers and getting a little tall from my desk here, so I will go ahead and put it on the ground. And now we have two things left to do. We wanna put the RGB light strip in there. So basically unspool this. And like I said, every one of these LED strips usually comes with a backing on here. And then we're gonna just wanna slot it into this little slot here. And to do that, we're basically just putting it on the inside there, bringing this backing tape down. And I know this is hard to see on camera, but it's nothing more than just taping the LEDs to the inside of the strip. And with all that said and done, you can now pop the diffuser channel in. And then every section has its own diffuser channel. Let me go ahead and get this last piece on and plug her in. And there we go, it's all set up. And the one good thing about this is that it does have um, an inline controller, so you can control the RGB as well as the remote here. And that's about it. So you can see that I put it in the back here. Uh, I put it on basically auto, so it kind of scrolls through the different colors. I turned off the twinkle lights back there because that was actually bright and it was hard to see the colors. But I'll go ahead and leave this sitting back there for the rest of this video and then I'll figure out a permanent place for it. But yeah, that looks nice and the quality is great. Um, I got no problem with this. I can actually turn on the light here. 
And you can see that with the light turned down, it actually looks pretty darn nice back there in the corner. So that I'm happy with this for sure. Definitely a good thing. I don't know if it's gonna fit in a stocking, like I said, but it might be a great gift for Christmas for someone who has a room that might want a corner light like that. Um, so yeah, absolutely. Let me turn the light back up here. All right, so what's next in the bag? All right, we got this right here, something that's nice and small and compact. And this is, ah, okay. This is nice because I wanted to be able to set up another tablet here on my desk. So this is just a very, very simple tablet stand or phone stand. You can take it traveling with you. So if you're sitting with your flight tray open, um, and the way this works is it basically just um, folds down into this flat little design right here. Then you can basically pull it up, set it at the angle that you want, set your phone in there, and you're good to go. So this is something that I'm gonna use when I travel. It's perfect for a stocking, something to put in there. That way someone has just a travel phone holder if they want, because you know, I, I've told you before, I've been on a plane where I'm trying to balance this stupid phone on like a magazine or something, and it's just frustrating. And this gives you the ability to basically set the height you want and go for it. So yeah, so again, just a small little phone holder, fold it up, put it together, and you're good to go. Very nice. All right, next in the bag is, ah, so <laughs> maybe not everybody wants one of these, but you know what? It's always nice to have it around. Um, if you're sick or if you're not feeling good, maybe you have a chest infection or something like that, it's always good to be able to have one of those things that you see at the doctor's office, okay? So every time you go to the doctor's office, and I go there quite often, you have this little thing that they wanna stick on your finger to check your blood oxygen level and check your pulse, okay? So it takes two AAA batteries, and I don't have any batteries up here, so what I'll do is I'll try this out later. But basically, it's what you see at the doctor's office. You put your finger in here, and it's going to monitor your pulse and your blood oxygen level so that you can kind of see how you're doing. And for someone who might want to have one of these at home so they can check at any point in time when they're maybe not feeling well, this would be great. All righty, what do we got next in the old box here? Oh, another thing, perfect for a stocking stuffer. This is one of those metal RFID wallets, okay? So the reason that I got this one in particular is that it's red and my son tends to lose his wallets and he's got a black wallet. So basically this will allow him to be able to find it easily if he wants to use this. So yeah, so this is basically really heavy duty metal. It has a money clip out here that you can slide either cards or money into. And then also you're able to put cards on the inside. So slide your cards in there so it'll hold uh, cards and you can see I can kind of pull this apart because there's like a elastic in there that allows you to be able to put your cards in and close that up. And again, if you wanna have cards on the outside, you can. Um, and then it also has this kind of insert here um, and I was a little bit wary about whether or not this would be nice quality, but it looks like it is. So you can see it has a little thumb cut out here so you can push your cards out, pick the one you want, pull it out and good to go. So for a stocking stuffer, absolutely perfect little wallet here. Um, I know my son's gonna use it. If not, then I'll use it. Next in the bag, we got another small little box here. Ah, okay. I don't know why I got two of these. And maybe because I have two kids and we're going on a trip soon. So I figured why not? So here's another option based on this one here. One thing I did notice is that this one here is plastic and it bounces a little bit. Um, this one here is metal, okay? So it's the same exact type of idea. It pulls up, rotates outward, and then you can set your phone on there. And this one might be a little nicer. If you wanna look at both of them, I'll leave the links down below. This one seems a little bit more sturdy and a little bit more able to hold uh, maybe larger devices. I think I got this one for my phone and maybe this one would work good for a tablet, but it also works great for the phone too. Um, so you can see from the top down view how this would actually set in there. And yeah, so again, another option for a stocking stuffer. And again, a good design, fold it up, put it in your bag, nice and slim, good to go. Very nice. And next in the bag is this random thingy here. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what the heck this is. Okay. As you can see, it's giant. So what it is, is a car windshield ice 
uh, blocker, I guess. Okay, so the idea is that you can take this, and I'll put a picture up on the screen so you can see how it's supposed to be used. You take this, you put it on your car windshield if it's gonna be icy or if it's gonna be snowy, and then the small suction cups wrap around and hook it to the front of your car. And that way, when you're ready to get out and get in your car, you can just basically pull this off and then all the snow comes with it. So you don't have to scrape your windshield or anything like that. Whether or not this works good or not, it doesn't seem like the worst quality. The only thing I could see being an issue is that it might catch the wind if there's a lot of wind. But again, hook it to your windshield and it basically blocks, the, uh, and it basically has the snow lay on top of it and then you just rip it off and all the snow comes off with it. I'll give this a try. And it comes in a small little package, good for stocking stuff, but it should be worth a try. And now that it's getting cold, uh, I should be able to let you all know how well this works with one of my 60 day reviews uh, when it comes around. All right, next in the bag. Ah, so this is a great little stocking stuffer. I mean, why not? It's a small, little, and powerful flashlight. Okay, so check this out here. So basically it's a small sort of um, rechargeable flashlight. It comes with a USB-C to a USB-A. Um, let's see if it has any juice here. Yeah, so it does have some juice here. As you can see, it has a couple different modes. It looks like, oh, that, geez, that's bright. Smart guy here, go ahead and looking directly into the flashlight when I turn it on, of course. But yeah, so it's a small little backup flashlight. I think it would be good for using, um, just having your house as a backup. It looks like a bright and low, and then also has a flashing mode. If you wanna put that in your car, um, if you break down or anything like that, I think that would be a perfect little gift. And again, it is rechargeable. There's a little flap on the back here uh, that you charge there and charge it up and you're good to go. Very nice. Um, the only thing that I would knock this on is the fact that it does seem to be plastic. Um, not that everything in the world needs to be metal. Maybe the plastic makes it a little bit lighter, so that's fine. Um, if you're carrying it around in an everyday carry pack or something like that, you may not want a big, heavy flashlight weighing down your pack. So this is good. So it's actually nice and light. Button seems good. Doesn't seem like it's going to break anytime soon. Um, but yeah, good little gift there. All right, next in the bag is... Ah, so I thought to myself, this might be nice. Uh, sometimes you're working on small projects, um, whether it may be inside of a computer or inside of something that's small and you can't really get in there to look. It is actually a small endoscope, okay? So it has a USB cable here. And it basically um, is a small stiff wire here with a camera on the end of it here, if you can see has USB-A, and it also has micro USB, USB-A converter, and a USB-C converter too, okay? So this works specifically with Android and with a PC. It doesn't work for iOS. So I plugged it into my computer here. Um, I'm using OBS to record this with, and what I'll do is I'll go ahead and record a little bit of this, and we will put it on the screen here. Um, and you can see it has a light on the end of it here. And basically you're able to kind of put it into small little areas and kind of see exactly, you know, a very close up view of how dirty my keyboard actually is from all the dust. Um, so you're basically able to take it and put it into small little areas to kind of look around and see inside of there. So yeah, if you're trying to search for something that maybe dropped down a crevice or in, in somewhere, um, this would come in pretty handy. And it's kind of just like a novelty here, I guess. Um, but it's nice to have on the off chance that you need it. And it does have its own little um, computer software. How to connect to your computer. There's a little um, setup program that I'm not using. I'm actually using OBS for this. But yeah, I mean, for someone who does this sort of stuff or might find this handy, this is actually pretty nice. I mean, there's tons of them out there on the on the market and, you know, they can go for tons and tons of money, but for, for a simple hobby use, close up look of something, checking down in your keyboard to see how dirty it is, I think this will work out perfect. So yeah, that's a good little, that's a good little stocking stuffer. I think that you could probably get for someone who you know would probably use it. Alrighty, what's next in the old bag? And I got a lot of stuff. Okay, this is another one of those Apple Find My Locators. I've gotten these in previous videos and they work great. I mean, I absolutely love them and they work perfectly and they integrate with Apple Find My Device. 
And the reason I got this one specifically was look how thin this is, okay? So this is basically small enough to fit in my other son's wallet, who tends to misplace where that is. And so we can track this and he can look exactly where this is. And one thing I do wanna note is that when it comes to Apple Find My Devices, so you can see here, this is by Oblong, Apple Find My Device. One of the things about these devices is that you can only have one phone hooked to it at a time, and that's with all Apple tracking devices or, or these, because they don't have family sharing on. So I'm not gonna hook this to my phone just yet. I will hook it to my son's. But yeah, I mean, I haven't had any issue with these. You just pull out this little tab, it activates, you hook it up. Um, you basically just hold it up to your phone, iPhone like this, it'll recognize it and add it right to Apple Find My Device. And I find that's the easiest way to track things. I've got them on my keys, I've got them in my wallet, I've got all sorts of them for different things. So yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect for stocking stuffer. I would I definitely recommend these. All right, next in the bag. Ah, so I thought this was a great for a little stocking stuffer. So we all have, and I have it here on my desk, about a thousand little cables and cords that just sort of sit around, right? So this is a cable management case, okay? So this is something that you can have on your desk and you can basically grab your cables like this, slide it right into the pouch. I can probably take this endoscope here, slide it into the outer pouch here. I could even take one of these right here, slide it in here. I've got, and it's a double-sided one, right? So I've got one side for those two things. And I've got this side for all the cables and cords that I might wanna carry around. Um, I can actually put this cord here up in the top corner. If I wanted to, I can take some earbuds, toss them in there, and then it's got a larger thing right here. Let's see what else we can put. If I wanted to, I could put this little, little knife in one of these little things. So what you can see is that it's just a bunch of like little sleeves that you can keep things in. I don't know if the AirPods or the earbuds will actually fit in there and let it close up. But even if I wanted to put a tracker in there, like the one I just got, slide it down here into one of the slots, zip it up, got a little holding strap right here and you're good to go. So yeah, I mean, small things like this make the world a difference, be able to store any of these small little cables that you get um, or cables that you use on a daily basis, toss it into your backpack, toss it into your bag, and it's nice and organized. So something like this I think is great and perfect for a small little stocking stuffer. All right, stay with me. Still got a bunch of stuff left in here. Again, since these are stocking stuffers, they were all pretty inexpensive things. So I got a bunch of stuff to share with you all. Okay, so we got a little, little small little package right here. Let's see what it is. Oh, so it looks to be a, another charging cable. So uh, like I said, I got the new iPhone with the USB-C. So I wanted a really good USB-C to USB-C charging cable. But the one thing that this comes with, which I think is pretty cool, um, and if you look at this, it's got a really nice sort of texture to it, really strong, sturdy cable. And I've gotten something similar to this before. But one additional thing that's nice about this is... A, it's a pretty long cable. It's about a five foot cable. If I plug it into my computer here and I plug it into my phone, you'll see very close here that it shows the exact wattage of what it, of how fast it's charging. So right now I'm getting seven watts and that's from my computer. If I was to use uh, another brick that allowed for a faster charging, you would be able to see that. And one thing I really love is to be able to specifically see how fast uh, my device is charging. And if I plug it into a wall brick and I'm getting 14 watts, then I know I'm getting faster charging. So this is just another sort of cord. I, I, everybody uses cords. This is USB-C to USB-C. So make sure you remember that if you take a look at it. USB-C to USB-C. So based on the device that you have, I picked up one of these from Timu a while back, a little 40 watt charger that has two USB-Cs on it. One is 20 watts and the other is 20 watts. So something like this paired with something like this would be able to charge my phone nice and quickly. So I just wanted a really good quality cord that was basically my cord. You know what I'm saying? Every time I have a cord, that thing disappears and it's gone. But this is a USB-C to USB-C, and I'm the only one in the house that has a USB-C phone. So this won't disappear. This one's mine. 
but all, all in all, the quality of this is really nice. Um, like I said, I'll put the link down below to all these things so you can find them on the site. Uh, I know that people had asked previously when I bought a cable like this, they kept saying that it was out of stock, which it was. So I found something that also had a little digital um, display of this, the speed of charging. So you can take a look at this. All right, next in the bag, box, random box. That's one thing about these Timu things is, I, I'm, I got a good memory, but I forget what I order all the time and I look at it and oh, okay. So this is a cool little Nintendo Game Boy coffee mug. So if you have someone in your family who likes Game Boy and wants a coffee mug, I just thought this would be nice. I don't know, I what, I'm, what I believe is that when this gets hot, that something actually comes onto the screen. You know, it's like activated with temperature. Um, I'll put a picture up on the screen of this. Um, but I just thought it was kind of cool. You know, someone who's a game enthusiast, likes Game Boy, drinks coffee, why not? Especially if the little screen lights up when you have a hot drink in there. I think it'd be pretty cool. I wouldn't say that it's the most uh, ingenious or best printed item in the world. I'll give you a quick little close up here of it, you know, it's pretty standard, pretty basic, but for the price, it might be a nice little gift for someone who likes video games. I'll use it. I drink coffee. I like video games. Why not? All right. All right. So I, when I was ordering this stuff, I said to you that they gave me a little bit of a budget to be able to partner with them. Um, and I got down and I literally had $1 left and I'm like, no way, I'm not going to spend that $1. I got to get something. So what I did was pick up these small little things. I have no clue whether or not this is really gonna be helpful or not, but what it is is small little picks that you can kind of get into your charging ports and clean them out. And one of the things that I hate is that I keep my phone in my pocket all the time and lint will tend to get in these little cracks and crevices. So having a very small brush like this, if you can see it, I'm trying to get it close enough. Um, that allows you to basically come in and sort of brush out anything that's inside of that port, I think is pretty important. So, I mean, I don't know, maybe this was a buck, maybe this was two bucks, I'll put the price up on the screen. But if you have the same issue where you have small little things that you wanna clean out, these might work just fine. I will let you know in the 60 day review whether or not those were handy or not. All right, so, oh, another another nice, nice little gift item, um, and I see a lot of these on Timu, are desk pads. Now, my desk here is completely covered with all the crap that we've opened up so far, but I will open this up and show you. And this is heavy, very heavy, very heavy duty. So basically, I, I wanted something, um, I liked this sort of topo um, sort of graph, and this is great. You know what? I'm gonna give this to my son. He um, has one on his desk that I keep looking at and I'm like, oh, that's so old. He is so ratty and he will like this. This is really great quality. I, and this is another thing you need to look at too is when you order this in particular, I believe there's different sizes. So make sure you get the size that fits your desk. So the quality of this is great. It's got a rubber backing here, very sticky. So it'll stick to your desk. You put your mouse on there, slide it around. Feels just like any other mouse pad. Feels really nice. The print quality is great. The edges don't seem to have any sort of um, fraying on them, so that'll last for a while. Let me look, show you the quality of this here up close. But yeah, for a nice little mouse pad um, or desk mat that would be used for kids, for, for family, for friends, perfect little gift to be able to pick up and give to them. So yeah, my holiday shopping is already done, friends. How many more things we got in here? We got about three or four more things in here. So this is a small little cool little thing you can toss into a, a stocking and it is a keycap, okay? And this kind of goes with the theme um, of the Game Boy that I, or yeah, the little Game Boy that I looked at earlier was that this is a small little keycap that you can either um, set, I guess, on your desk. But this little keycap right here is a miniature little Game Boy. And that's pretty cool, huh? And it looks like it has a translucent window so that if you do want to put it on a computer, or on a keyboard like this, just pop the one that's on there, pop this one on, 
And there you go. Yeah, it looks like the color does come through. Let me show you a, a little bit closer. Yeah, so you can see as my RGB changes, it actually changes the color of the screen on the Game Boy. So that's pretty cool. I mean, and it comes with these other things too. So you can actually put this on there, which is a small little computer with a little floppy disk drive and also a calculator. It's one keycap, um, and I think you can put kind of take these off and put them on there. But you know what? That's on my computer for good. I like that a lot. And that's, I mean, stuff like this is small. It's very cool. There's eight different colors you can get based on the keyboard that they might have. If they have a mechanical keyboard with switches, get that. They're going to love it because I love it and I think it's cool. All right, two more things here. One is a USB drive, okay? Now, all right, so this is a 128 gigabyte USB flash drive. And I figured, you know, the reason I got this specifically was USB-C, so I can take it and hook it to my phone, okay? And once I hook it to my phone, I can transfer video files from my phone onto here. And then on the other side, a USB-A that I can plug into my computer and get the and get the photos off. Someone was asking me in the comments, what's the, you know, what I thought about sort of data transfer from phone to computer. And if you do have a phone with USB-C on it, this will work. I think they have versions too with lightning on one end and USB on the other, but basically it's 128 gigs that allows you to be able to copy from your phone onto here or from any other device, right? If, you're, if your tablet or your other computer has USB-C and you need to be able to use that to transfer over, you can do that. So this gives you a really quick option to be able to move files around and not have any issue with what kind of connection port that you have. So again, small little thing, perfect for stocking. Um, I have no issues with that, I'm gonna use that. And then 3D metal mosaic kit. So I thought this is kind of interesting, okay? So this, if you can see here, um, I'll actually put a picture up on the screen of what this is, but I'll show you what's inside here. So it's basically a small little um, Star Trek Enterprise, but it comes like this. Check how cool that looks. So it's basically just all small little metal pieces, which I am not going to put together. I'll have my son put it together. Small little metal pieces that you pop out. And when you pop it out, they give you a full instructions here. It looks like a long instructions um, to be able to assemble this. And then it's a 3D version of the of uh, the USS Enterprise NCC-1701 for all you nerds out there who are interested in specifically which one it is. They had other ones on there too. Uh, this is a super cool little small little desk uh, toy that you can get them that they can assemble themselves and it should look pretty good. But that's it. Nothing else in the bag. The bag is empty. And I got an array of things here. I'm gonna have to go through and sort through this after this video and figure out what I'm gonna do with all this stuff. But all this stuff pretty much is great other than the lamp back there for a stocking stuffer, but that would be a great Christmas gift. Um, I think that looks great back there. Uh, I think that, you know, the, and the whole idea is that it just sits in the corner with some RGB, but thanks for sticking with me on this one. This is a long one. Uh, but I love unboxing this stuff, and I love it that you all uh, seem to enjoy it. Got any questions for me? Ask down below. Like I said, the links for all this stuff will be down below. Thanks to Timu for partnering with me on this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. I'd love to see you around. I'm going to keep doing these. And if you subscribe, then you'll see when my 60-day review comes out and lets you know um, how these things worked in the long term. But other than that, this is Carl from Techful Goodies, and I'm out.